Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! Welcome to P and C Classic Movie Reviews. I'm Padmalaya. And I'm Carson. Today's movie is a hidden gem from 1937 called Seventh, Seventh Heaven. Heaven. The movie was directed by Henry King and it was produced by Daryl Zanuck. The stars are Jimmy Stewart and French actress Simone Simon. You may not have heard of Simone Simon, but she was active as an actress in Europe and United States during her life. And Jimmy Stewart, of course, is mega famous. The plot of the movie takes place in Paris in a rough, poor neighborhood in 1914, which is um, both before and half the movie is during World War I. Jimmy Stewart plays the character named Chico, who is a sewer cleaner who has prayed for a better job as a street cleaner and a wonderful wife. And Simone Simon plays Deanne, who is a young woman who lives with her sister, who uh, we think it's implied that the sister owns a brothel. And the sister is very mean and abusive to Deanne and tries to demand that she um, hang out with men and dance with them and let them behave inappropriately to her, even though she doesn't want that. Yeah. <laughs> and when she refuses this, the sister beats her very brutally. And this goes out onto the street where Ch Chico sees it and rescues Deanne and uh do you want to tell the priest part sure <laughs> so after that uh, the local priest father Savion, um, rewards chico for his good deed by giving him this job he wanted as a street washer of all things um but in exchange he has to take care of deanne which honestly i don't think is a bad thing <laughs> Although he's very resistant to it. He's very resistant. At first. Uh, so, yes. And then the rest of the movie is what happens after that. Right. And we can't say more because we don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so, there were a lot of things we liked about this movie. And all of our movies that we review are movies we liked. So, um... That is what we want to tell you about next. First of all, I like, um, the mom likes this too, the values of the characters. I felt that Chico and Deanne were both really pure of heart. Um, Chico has kind of an interesting perspective on life. There's one point in the movie where he says he feels like a king, even though he's just a sewer cleaner for no reason at all. And I thought, you know what, that's kind of cool. Um, and then Diane is just really caring, uh, especially to Chico, which I enjoy. Yes, and as far as values go, there are some other things in, in the movie too, additional values. Like another example is how people treat their friends mm -hmm. um, or stand up for themselves or stand up for others as a kind of example. Of yeah. A lot of what's in this movie that is really nice. And... Um, the characters, both main characters, undergo a positive transformation, which is always something we like. And the uh, other movies we have reviewed have that quality also. So that's really great. And this movie, like others, has a combination of uh, factors. It has romance, it has comedy, and it has drama. So it's really fun and enjoyable when those things are combined. And then one interesting thing is that this is a pretty obscure movie, I thought. Oh, yeah. And But it's really great. So as you said in the beginning, it's a real hidden gem. Yeah. What would you rate this movie? I actually give this movie a 9 out of 10 because of all the things we said, and I, I really enjoyed it. And... Uh, I, I watched it twice in pretty close proximity, and I really loved it both times. But the one thing that I downgraded a little bit for is that it's not 
super artistic, like with especially the cinematography. The sets and costumes and those types of things are, are really good, but not super great. Uh, it's really the story and the characters that carry it. And, but that's, that's good enough to make it a nine and definitely a recommendation. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? Same rating, but different reasons. I also rate it a nine. Um, I really like the story and, um, again, the relationship between Chichiko and Tian. The only critique I have is that, um, uh, all the characters except for Diane, because Simone Simon was already French, didn't have a French accent. And it oh, takes, yeah. <laughs> it takes place in France. So, um, when I was watching the movie, I didn't care about that. And I've been in a few plays, so I get it. It's hard to do accents, especially if you have low time, but yeah, that's something that I think could take away from the movie a little bit, but not much. That's why it's a, still a great movie. It's interesting that they even make a movie like that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're probably right. It would have taken time and maybe if they didn't do it well, they didn't want to do it at all. Maybe it would be more distracting if they had bad accents. All right. <laughs> Um, well, I think it's just more noticeable because Jimmy Stewart is like the most American actor you could have possibly picked for that role. <laughs> yes, yeah, really. Although this must have been one of his, relatively speaking, one of his first movies. Yeah. We haven't really talked about this, but he is really young in this movie. Oh, yeah. And most of the movies that made him famous were kind of just a couple of years later in the decade. Like Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Philadelphia Story, etc. And then the Christmas one. That but that came. was later. That was like 1945. So he's something. really a bit older in there. So yeah, yeah, we're used to seeing him older, but it's really fun to see him really young. I, I don't know how old he was in this, but he's really young and it's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, we think you'll definitely like this movie and you should watch it. Yeah. So let us know if you're interested in this movie, if you watch it. I'm curious if people have heard of Simone Simon. Mm -hmm. Me and too. Um, any suggestions you have for other movies for us to do. Which reminds me, we have three upcoming movies that are going to be very special, which I think you probably want to talk about. Yes, I'm really excited for our Swashbuckler Trilogy. We're going to review three movies that are not only probably my favorites of all time, but they're some of the best swashbucklers of the 30s. The first one, going in chronological order, is The Scarlet Pimpernel. Uh, it stars Leslie Howard and was made in 1934. Uh, the next one is The Adventures of Robin Hood, which is definitely my favorite movie of all time. Um, that stars Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland. That movie actually just has like a star cast, but um, it takes May 1938. And then the last movie is The Mark of Zorro, starring Tyrone Power and Linda Darnell in 1940. All of them are really great, and we're super excited to do that next. Those are really great movies. Yeah. I think I'd have to really think to decide if I liked uh, which one I liked best, but I don't know. It might be The Scarlet Pimpernel, <laughs> it might be Zorro. But I get what you of mean about Robin Hood. Of course, it's the one Hood. that's not my favorite. <laughs> They're all really great, though. It's so hard to decide. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to love that trilogy coming up. And uh, subscribe if you're interested to continue to follow us. Or share. And or share. And maybe this will help some people have some fun entertainment. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.